Okay, in this video we're going to look at identifying and changing a solenoid coil on a Triton shower. Um, how will this manifest itself? Uh, we will have power onto the shower, we will press the on off button in, the light will remain on on the on off button, but there'll be no water flowing. Okay. What you'll need for this operation is you'll need a number two posi drive and a large flat blade screwdriver and also to test the solenoid coil you will need your multimeter set on the ohms range. Okay. So for all intents and purposes we press the on off button now, no water's flowing, there's still power on to shower, the button is still lit up, um, so we'll do a bit of investigation. I'll turn the power off. You need to take the screws out of the cover. There's two at the top and one at the bottom, but for ease of demonstration today, I've already taken them out. So we'll place the cover by the side. The component we're looking at today is the solenoid itself. This comes complete, the solenoid body, which is this component here, and the solenoid coil, which is the brown, could be black, could be green, but it's more than likely going to be brown in color has two connectors on it to provide it with power. It's just a coil of wire. So what can happen with that is the coil was break, no continuity, no water flows. Okay, let's see how we can identify it. So with the power still off, we set our multimeter to the ohms range. And what reading we should be looking for there is about 3.5 to 4.7 kilo ohms. If we don't get that, we're more than likely get an open circuit and that would mean the coil is, uh, is defunct and needs replacing. Okay, so we'll just measure across the two terminals and I'm getting a reading on my multimeter of 3.5 kilo ohms, which means that coil is okay, as we know it is, but on your readings, you'll probably get open circuit, no reading at all. What do we do to change the coil if it's gone? We have to get, as I said, a solenoid that comes with the body. We don't need the body for this, this uh, exercise, so we can discard that. How to change the coil? With the power still off, I need to remove both of the connectors from the coil. I want to take note of what orientation the coil is in, because it can be in multi-orientations. In this shower, it's actually pointing at a, probably about 10 o'clock on a clock face. Okay. How to remove it? Take the big single blade, single blade screwdriver, or flat blade screwdriver, should I say, and place that between the brown bit of the coil and the body of the solenoid, and then just twist it through 90 degrees. And what that will do, that will pull it off of the center spigot. If you're not confident, you can turn the water off before you attempt this, but as I'm confident, I won't bother. What that's done now, it's just moved it off the spigot slightly, and now all I need to do is take hold of it and pull it towards me, just straight towards me, and it will come off. And you can see there's a centre spigot there running through and a hole in the coil. That's how you would take the new coil off of the new body. So again, for all intents and purposes, this is now the new coil. I need to put it back on there. So I'm just going to offer it up and just twist it slightly and push it home and then orientate it correctly press it completely flat down until it clicks into place and won't really move any more than that. That's the coil back on. And then I just need to put these connections on. If you forget which way they go around, don't worry too much because it is only a coil of wire, so either or, but when you take them off, they'll normally lie in the same uh, orientation as you took them off. Okay. So now we've put the coil on. The only thing we need to do now really is to put the cover back on and test and make sure it's working. So I'll offer the cover up. What I would do now is put the screws in, but at the moment, as I say, we're only demonstrating. So what I'll do is apply power to the shower and then I would just need to press and we have water. So we're now back into operation and that's how to change the coil on a Triton shower.